Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan Kingsford and I am so excited you're here. This video is a comparison video between two of my favorite diaper bag backpacks. If you've been around my channel a little bit, you may have seen that I have a whole review dedicated to the Axis backpack here. I've had this for several years now. It's a great bag. And I have recently put up a couple of videos about this bag. This is the Meta Backpack, also by Petunia Picklebottom. I thought it would be fun to compare the two side by side so that you can have a better idea of what they hold hold and which one would be right for you. Let's get to it. Starting with the Meta backpack here, I wanted to show you that this style bag does have a magnetic flap and it's really easy to use. It has a great wide front pocket, which is where I usually keep my wallet. But the really interesting thing about this pocket is that they have made it insulated and super wipeable. So you can actually keep snacks in here. Above that pocket is where I keep a lot of my essentials. I have keys, an extra car, in that pocket and in this mesh pocket next to it, I have several other things, hand sanitizer, lip gloss, and an extra pacifier. And this is a really good size pocket. It does go all the way to the bottom of the bag. Now, turning the bag around all of the way, this bag does feature this right here, which is like a travel sleeve, meaning this would be really easy to slide on your luggage if you needed to be hands-free. And it has a zipper pocket here on the back, which is good for stickers apparently, and also has a fleece lining, which is really nice to keep your phone in. And finally, this exterior pocket is another insulated pocket, and this holds a regular size water bottle. It's not great for anything larger than that, but it does keep your stuff nice and cold. Quickly moving into the interior of the bag, it has a double zipper. One of those can go all the way to the bottom of the bag, and one goes to this corner here, making like an L, so that you have this really wide opening. It does have a laptop sleeve in the back, which the Axis backpack, I'll show you in a minute, does not, which is a really handy feature if you're on the go and need your laptop or iPad or whatever. This bag and the Axis backpack can both hold the Intermix system. So I'm gonna grab that out so you can see a bit more detail inside the bag. Here on this front side, there are two mesh pockets. Now the bag does come with a wipes case and a change pad, but in here right now, I just have shoes for my one-year-old. And then in this side, I have some miscellaneous snacks. So this is the Intermix system that I pulled out of the main area of the Meta Backpack just now. And in here, this is actually where I sit my Hydroplast, but it's also a great place to put snacks or whatever you need. You can see I have wipes, I have diapers here, and then this pouch it comes with, I just have to change of clothes for my two youngest kids. So what I wanna show you next is how I take this and I can move all of this in to the Access backpack, but the configuration's a little bit different. Here is the Access backpack, and we're gonna start with this bottom pocket here. This pocket is the reason this has been my go-to Disneyland bag each time we go, and that's because this is an entire insulated cooler pocket, and I love that it it's kept completely separate and the Intermix system is designed to fit right in the bottom. So if you had this completely filled up with snacks for a day out, all of that would be kept completely separately from everything you keep inside. It's really good for um, the comfort of this bag on your backpack. I packed this bag rather heavy and both of these bags are really comfortable in backpack style, but this bag is particularly comfortable in backpack style. This pocket is really similar in size to the one on the Meta backpack, but it is a very different material it's not insulated all the insulation in this bag is in the bottom so this makes for a great place to put all of those essentials that are smaller wallets and hand sanitizer anything like that I find is great in here this bag does have a slip pocket here on the back but it is not a travel sleeve looks like I've been keeping just like wipes and miscellaneous garbage in the back there but it also fits like the package of wipes I could put back here it's just really nice when this hangs off your shoulder to just have an easy access pocket and then on the side, this is the same size bottle pocket that is on the Meta backpack. So it will not hold my Hydro Flask and neither would the other one, but it's great for my phone actually. <laughs> so I like to stick that in that pocket. The top compartment of the Axis backpack does have two zippers. It is not a gusseted pocket, so it folds all the way down, which makes for really easy packing. So this area here is great for my little one's shoes, 
those keys and miscellaneous snacks. I don't have enough to fill up in here, which goes to show you just how roomy it is. Because I was able to put so many of my essentials in the bottom compartment, that's what's great about this bag is it has just a ton of room up top. And as long as you just, you know, don't zip completely undone, you have a lot, a lot of room to work with. Now, I really want to give you a look bag side by side. You can see that the Axis backpack is a good bit taller than the Meta backpack, like several, several inches taller. Width-wise, they're similar for sure. I would say the Axis backpack is probably 25% bigger than the Meta backpack. So when I'm wearing the Axis backpack, it stretches almost from my shoulder to the end of my jacket here. It's a really good size, but my husband loves carrying it because it's so comfortable for him and for me. The Meta backpack looks a little bit chicer and is just like a little bit more everyday sized in my opinion. So if you have questions about these two different bags, leave those in the comment section section below. You can also find me on Instagram at Megan Kingsford. I'd love if you hung out with me over there. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in my next one soon. Bye!